In today's Sunday Solution, we're going to show you how we service our generator, Onan QD8000, in our 2014 Tiffin 33AA. It's time for another Sunday Solution. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so right now we're letting her warm up a little bit because it's a little cold here in Tennessee. And we're gonna get ready to change the oil. So what you're gonna need is your air filter. There's the part number for it. Uh, fuel filter, if we decide to change this, I'm going to take a look at it. I think the recommendation is every two years on that, but I don't know if uh, we've had it, always had the generator service in the past when we do the oil change at different dealers. This year I'm doing it myself. So um, you're going to need a oil filter. Pop that out of there. That's the part number for that. There's the oil filter. Cummins part and oil filter wrench, swivel wrench preferably. And of course you're gonna need your oil. We got 1540, what we're using. So that's that. Uh, you'll need a three inch socket, three eighths socket for the uh, drain plug and probably a pair of pliers for that. I bought the whole kit complete on Amazon. I put a link in for that. Uh, for everything, the oil all comes in one kit, complete tune-up kit. And you can get your serial number or your model number of your generator. I'll take you over here. It might be a little loud, but uh, you can get it right here. Model number's up top. And go from there. And then this tells you your service stuff. So... We're gonna let her warm up for a few minutes and then we'll get back in there, get down under there and I'll show you what we got. All right, so I didn't list the obvious. You're gonna need some gloves. You're gonna need an oil pan. And you're gonna need a screwdriver or the fuel filter. This is your oil drain plug right here. This is your little trap door. You squeeze these two together. Down it comes. Here's my fuel filter. And up there is the oil filter. Looks like this filter was changed. I think it says 121, which means whoever I paid to do it last time didn't do it. So let's get started with the draining the oil. And over here is your coolant drain if you decide to do that, but we're not doing that today. We're not flushing the coolant. So, I think this, uh, the, I think they recommend every 200 hours or every 250 hours. I set mine for 200, so that's when I do it. But here we go. Let's see if we can get the old plug out. Sometimes they get a little carried away with these, and apparently they do with this. Boy, oh boy. Oh man, that makes me angry. Let me go get a bigger wrench. That ain't going through it. That's absolutely ridiculous. That was that tight. There we go. And never sees on it too. Wow. 
That's mind blowing. So we're gonna let that drain. And then we'll go from there. I don't know if I mentioned too, she holds three quarts according to the manual, so three quarts of oil is all we should need. Drip, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, so we'll go ahead and put our plug back in. And, and you don't need to over tighten these. Some people get carried away. Crank them down like they're a Mack truck. Apparently that's what they did last time. So. Just give it a little snug and you're good to go. I, I also pre-oiled my filter gasket on this model. You can't really, because the filter's mounted sideways. You can't really pre-oil pre, pre -oil the filter. I'll see if I can, hopefully you can see up in there. It's the best I can do with the camera. See if we get the oil filter out. And then we gotta do the fuel filter. And I forgot about the air filter. Okay, I'll just give her a whirl. That's loose. Wow. That wasn't even finger tight. That was the second thing that I found uh, between changing the oil on the rig and this. That baby was just barely on. Come on, baby. Oh, oh she's out. All right. Oh, she don't like come out of there. Make sure the gas gets on there. And we're gonna check up top, just like we did on the engine. Make sure that's all clean when it's done, it's done draining. I don't know if you can see right here, they have a deflector plate for the oil, so that'll push the oil over here. I'll get my flashlight. Make sure there's no gasket up there. Nope. I'll well, let that drain for a minute, then we'll clean it up. And then we'll move on to the fuel filter. Okay, she good. I'm gonna put the new one on, tighten her up. And then we'll go from there. One thing you always wanna make sure with your oil filters is you don't cross thread them. So this one's a little tricky because you gotta get it up in there, turn it, it's not a lot of room. We're supposed to go like a quarter turn past hand tight on these, typically. I gave it a little tweak there. It was too loose before. I'm glad I did it when I did, and I'm gonna give it a little touch with the wrench. That's good. That's good. All right, so that part's done. There it is. I 
Looks like a T30. Let's say we were T30 twerks on this one. Okay, we got that out. Gonna have to slide the clamp out of the way. And then I'm gonna have to move. If you note, the flat spot is this way, so. I don't know if there's directional flow on these or not, but we're gonna keep it the same just because they're probably is. And I gotta move my pan back over here. We're gonna get a little bit of fuel out of here. We'll reprime it when we get it all back in. After we get the oil in. Let that run for a little bit. Don't lose your clamp. Tighten that one up a little. You gotta spin the filter so the rubber, these rubber pads are against the side for vibration. Otherwise, it should rattle, more than likely. And if you haven't bought this tool on Amazon, you need to. I'll put a link in. It's my little ratchet. I use it in the dryer, and I use it in here. Look how nice that's got. Oh, got it started. So now we can go to the other one again because you need a long one. I don't have a long bit for that. I'll leave that open. Until we uh, run it and make sure we don't have any leaks. The air filter is at the front of our generator. You have to take this wing nut off. And this plastic cover. Slides off. Another wing nut to remove the air filter. Pop off this metal cover. And out comes your air cleaner, air filter. That one don't look bad. It's pretty clean. I want to check under here and make sure everything's clean inside. And that's it, just slide it back in. I just tighten her down. Make sure you reach back in there and feel that it's seated, which it is. That's good. And now, put your cover back on the right way. That's all she 
sure down here. Okay. We're good. Now all we gotta do is put some oil in her. And we'll be set. Check her for leaks. I'll get back up top. We're gonna put our oil in it. And we'll go from there. I think I'll use a funnel. Probably could get away with just dumping the quartz in it. Oh, I almost walked into that. Man, oh man. <clears throat> Let's put our funnel in. Make life easy. Dump our three quarts in, and then we'll check her. Probably do two and a half, check it. Go from there. Let me give her a check. I got about two and a half in it. See what we got. Give her a little bit of time to run down. Uh, this is pretty much full. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. I think it'll come down a little after the uh, oil filter fills up. All right, so I said I'd show you a trick. Little secret here for priming the fuel filter on these things. Basically, you hold your stop button and you'll hear the pump come on and prime it up. So just hold it. That's the pump. And I do that for about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And then we'll try and start her now that we got oil in her. Just priming again. I'll let it run for a minute and we're gonna get down there and check her for leaks. No leaks. Now all we gotta do. Let's check the oil level. Again, probably have to top it off, I would think. Yeah, she needs a little. Don't need the rest of that. <clears throat> that oil filter filled up. She's full. All right, so that's how you do a service on your uh, QD8000 if you have one. The kit cost me, I think 120 bucks on Amazon for everything. And the reason I did it that way is just simple. Came with the ranch, came with everything I needed. So I just figured I'd do it that way. You can get a lot cheaper if you just buy the parts individual, but I don't know, I didn't press it out. I've just made it easy on myself. So that's probably, I don't know, three or three or four hundred dollar job if you take it somewhere. So not that hard to do it yourself. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed this Sunday solution. If it helps you out, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you check out our our store on YouTube. We have a store now. We got uh, shirts, hats, all kinds of good stuff. So make sure you take a look. It helps support the channel because it takes a lot of time and effort doing these videos. But we appreciate you. So. That's it. Have a good day. We'll check back in when we do the air filter on the next video.